I'm Dr. Chris Edwards, and you are at the Smile Design Center. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Florida in September, and I am here to be working with my brand new one visit crown making system called CEREC. CEREC is a system that I've been on the sidelines watching for 15 years and can truly say that I saw many restorations that didn't meet my quality control specifications. And in the last few years, there's been some significant improvements in both hardware and software. And I am now totally convinced that these, this machine will be able to help me to make one visit restorations, crowns, inlays, onlays, veneers, to a level that will be superior to what I would get from a dental lab. And I will be the one that will design them myself here at the office. And these restorations will be absolutely beautiful. And they are very biocompatible. And the newer materials are as strong as a conventional porcelain crown. Traditionally, we've gone ahead and taken a an impression of the patient's tooth after we prepared it. Laboratory fabricates a model, and then a crown is made that fits the model and it comes back. The patient that I did this week, we went ahead and did a few Cerex. Neither was I really totally happy with, so we did take a conventional crown and bridge impression, sent the patient home with a temporary, and we're here today to go ahead and fabricate and design a restoration that next week we'll put in his mouth. And I wanna share with you some of the cool things that this program does and the whole three-dimensional aspect of being able to work with a computer and customize the bite and the shape and every aspect of a crown, it's, it's truly exciting and amazing. So come with me and I'm gonna show you some of the things with our CEREC software system. We're gonna go ahead and I wanna share with you how a little bit about the CEREC 3D software works and show you a little bit of a comparison between a conventional model that was made by the laboratory, a stone model, and how the computer has developed a digital model, totally from the camera, which is right here, where we have actually scanned and taken pictures of the patient's teeth and opposing teeth. If we take a look at the screen, we can see that I've got a 3D replica of this model. And if we take a look, you can almost see that it's even the same color. And if I go ahead and look in my microscope at this exact model that we've taken the conventional way, I can actually see that there are a few imperfections that were part of the impression. And those imperfections have now been transferred to the stone and that is one of those problems that can develop with traditional crown and bridge. And once I went back and looked under the microscope at my actual impression, I can see now where those discrepancies were. And traditionally, I've always taken two crown and bridge impressions so that I would have a second view. But in this case here, we did a CEREC, two CEREC crowns on this patient, although we did not cement them. So we're going to go ahead and let me show you a little bit more of how this technology works. Okay, we're, uh, we're here at the computer and we're s establishing the margins, which is where the crown will end and the root begins. And the blue line here is our initial uh, flush at that. We're gonna go ahead and enlarge this, take advantage of digital technology. And now we're gonna roll and take a good look at our margin as it goes all the way around the tooth. Now over here, I can see that I have a little slight correction, so we'll double click there. Fix that up and roll it and take a good look at it. All right, I think that we've got our margin, so let's go ahead now and prepare for designing the crown. And wait to see how, how this happens, it's just amazing. Now the computer has what they call biogeneric software, which is where it will actually take into account 
not only the, the preparation that was done and the bite of the opposing tooth, but also the shape and character of the adjacent teeth. And it will design a restoration that is in harmony. So here we see we've already, the computer has already given us our first flush at the, uh, at the crown that it proposes. The uh, blue marks are where the bite, you know, it's, it's telling us the bite will be. If we go ahead now and turn the opposing model on, now we can start taking advantage of looking at it. Now I think I'll go around to the other side and look at exactly where the bite is going to touch and decide how I am going to modify this crown to be as optimal for this patient as possible. Yeah, looking pretty good there now. I'm not liking that. Let's take a look and see how the cusp tips look. See if the cusp tip is nice and high here. Yeah, that looks pretty nice in the alignment there. Maybe through here I'd like to add a little bit of thickness, this part of the tooth, the emergence profile. Let's go ahead and put our plus tool on there and let's just add a little bit of porcelain digitally. Bulk it out a little tiny bit. Go to smooth tool. Smooth it all up. Let's take a look. I think I like that. So this is giving you an example of the creativity that exists in being able to design these restorations. And, and I know that I'm going to be able to engineer restorations that are going to be strong and functional and beautiful. So I'm excited to share this with you guys, with the world. And I look forward to showing you some of the beautiful successes that we will create here at the Smile Design Center. So thanks. And Look forward to seeing you soon. do this. So I hope that this gives you a little taste of what CEREC technology is and I look forward to being able to share some of the beautiful results that we will be getting here at the Smile Design Center. So thanks and enjoy these videos.